I hope everyone is doing well today. We are going to go over CSS tooltips, which is a quick and effective way to provide extra information to the user and also enhance the user experience. So where would we use them? Well, I have a perfect example here. So say we are needing to enter our routing number and account number for some banking information. Well, hovering over this would simply let the user know where the routing number would be located in case they forget. And a better thing to include here is an image of a blank check and possibly uh, pointing to the routing number. So here, for example, I just have some text and these are just powerful little tools that you can use to increase your user experience. So let's jump into Visual Studio Code and let's get started. All right, guys, I have VS Code open here. I'm going to generate boilerplate HTML using Shift 1, Enter. And I'm going to open this with Live Server. If you guys don't have Live Server installed, you want to install it from the extensions here. So I'm going to close out of this tab. And let's get started with the HTML. So first thing I'm going to do is link the CSS. Okay, so now we are going to have a section. And inside the section, we're going to have a label. And this is just going to say routing information. And then we're going to have a P tag which is just going to hold the question mark. So now we need to add some CSS to get them in line together. And we're going to also push this down and increase the font size so you guys can see it better. So in the body, I'm going to have the font size as 30 pixels. And I'm going to push this down by 10%. OK, so now in the P tag, let's add a class. We're going to add a class here of tooltip. In the tooltip class, there's going to be quite a bit of uh, going on. So first thing we want to do is use display inline flex. That will get the items in line. And now we want to shrink the question mark and make it look like the tooltip. So let's add some background here of white smoke. Sorry, the uh, tooltip will not have any background. It'll just be transparent and we'll have a border here of two pixels solid RGBA 000, 000, 0 0.55 and then we are going to add border radius of 50% and then now let's increase the width of this to let's say 15 pixels and the height to 15 pixels as well. Okay, that is extremely small. Let's do 25. Okay, and another thing we're gonna do is add justify content center and align items center. So it'll hor horizontally and vertically align this and let's add some padding of one pixel. Okay, so now I'm going to push this up. So I'm gonna position relative, use bottom to push it up of 20 pixels and that looks good to me so also we are going to use color here to match the border uh, with the question mark so we're going to use rgba 000 0.55 as well all right guys so i'm going to leave it like that we could probably make it bigger let's see uh was 15 too small i believe so we you know what we could do we don't want them to be huge, but we could reduce the font size here to, let's say, 20 pixels. There you go. That looks a lot better. I think that's about the right size for, for a tooltip. And I think we could also add some font weight here because the border looks to be out uh, doing the question mark. So let's do 600. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so now we can get to the tooltip part where we sh hover over it and show some text. So we're gonna, so here we are gonna use something called pseudo elements. If you guys uh, are not familiar with it, uh, what we're gonna do is use something called an after element that will insert some HTML, uh, sorry, that will insert the text box into this P tag. So it's gonna insert the content 
that we have here into the p tag. So how do we get that? The first thing we need to do is add a data attribute called to a data dash tooltip. So we're going to say the routing number is a nine digit number is nine digits and is located at the bottom of your check. That's not super helpful, but just for now, that's fine. So we have that. So now using pseudo element, we can say tooltip colon colon after, and we can include content here. So using something called attribute, we can directly call the data dash tooltip here, and it will display that now. So let's fix that up. So we're, we're gonna set the width here to 275 pixels. Okay, so we are going to add some background here. And let's do white smoke. And let's add some padding of 10 pixels. Okay, and below the width, I'm gonna add position absolute so that we can position this. And that will actually uh, take let the width take in effect. So now let's add border radius as well. Uh, let's do 10 pixels. Uh, okay, and now let's push this to the left. So let's do left 30 pixels. And let's push this up a little. Let's do 25 pixels. And let's push all this down a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to do margin top. Okay, so that looks good to me. And let's add some box shadow here. So after the border radius, I'm going to say box shadow. And here we're going to say 2 pixels, 4 pixels, 16, 0, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, with an opacity of 0 0.3. Okay, that makes it look a lot better. And another thing we're going to do here is reduce this font size to 18 pixels. Okay, so that looks a lot better and cleaner. And I'm going to reset this color to black, 0, 0, 0, to make it stand out. And if you guys wanted to, we could add a border here, but I'm going to just let it be. So next thing we want to do is add the hover effect. So in order to add that, we're going to just say colon hover here, and that'll disappear. So anytime we hover over this, it will show the tooltip. And it's getting it directly from the P tag, so we can make it dynamic as we want. And we can just grab it from HTML, which is absolutely amazing, so that we don't have to use JavaScript. And I noticed one thing here. Since this is a P tag, the text is uh, changes to this cursor, cursor, sorry. And so let's change the cursor back to default. So when we hover over this, we now have the default cursor. And I wanted to show you how easy it is to create another one of these. So we can add a section here. And now I'm just going to have a label and say account info uh, information. And I'm going to have a P tag and I'm just going to add this CSS class of tooltip and add a da data attribute of tooltip and set that equal to the account number is next to the routing number. Okay, and we need to add the question mark. And here we go. So it is pretty simple to add as many tooltips as you want as long as you have this tooltip class and you have the question mark there and you have the data attribute. That's really all I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please do let me know in the comments below. If you guys learned something and enjoyed this content, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.